back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I make videos twice a week. You guys notice my pen. I am so into pins these days. This is a cute little pineapple. So just a little breakdown for people who have never been to an Indian or Pakistani weddings. There are around three to five events, three on an average. The first one is Mendi, the second one is Shadi, the third one is reception. Now, it means different things in different cultures, but the idea normally is the same, so you guys can pull off whatever you want to. It is the season for Indian and Pakistani weddings, so it's the perfect time to learn more about the culture, a few guidelines that you want to stay away from, basically just a few ideas of what you could wear to an Indian and Pakistani wedding, especially if you haven't been to one ever. This is going to be a very different but fun experience. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out any fun. So without further ado, let's get started. The first event is usually Mehndi or Sangeet and it's an event filled with colors and dancing so make sure that you have your flats out. You can usually braid your hair on the side so that your hair doesn't get in the way while you dance. This is an event where in Pakistani culture girls opt for yellow or green but these days girls tend to wear any bright color. So make sure that you bring out the brightest of the brightest. I am wearing this really cool mustard sea green shocking pink contrast dress and it looks great for mehndi the next event is called shadi and it is one of the main events so you can wear the heaviest and the coolest looking dresses i opted for a gown and it is the brightest blue with this beautiful velvet bodice with work all over it and I'm wearing this really cool choker because I wanted to bring a modern twist. This choker is from ASOS by the way. For my makeup I opted for a blue eyeliner which matches really well with my dress. And again there may be some dancing on this day so make sure that you're comfortable and you can move around a lot. The only color that you want to stay away from is red because the bride usually wears red on this day. So make sure that you opt for any color but red. The next event is called Reception or Valima and it is one of the most formal events out of all the events. Usually girls opt for lighter colors on this day and there won't be much dancing so you can wear your high heels. I am wearing this beautiful mint green dress that is embellished all in the front and in the back and it just looks so pretty and so fit for the event. For the makeup I went with a smoky eye and a makeup tutorial is coming soon so please stay tuned and subscribe. So these are different ideas that you could wear at Pakistani or Indian weddings. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye!